<laughs> hey, hey, so there he is, huh? Hey. <laughs> so listen, Tony, I know you did a good thing first. I know you've been lying low for a long time. So I want you to take it easy for a while, huh? Vincenzo will look after you. You need some money? Ask him. You need a job? Lucky he'll take care of you. What more could a family guy ask for? Even my son done got it so good. But, Mr. Leone, I thought we got history. I mean, I've done a lot for this family. And now you're expecting me to take orders from this, this, this... Well, it just doesn't seem right. Tony, I know what you did, and no one is more grateful than me, honestly. But the idea that you walk in here and start to question my leadership right away is, quite frankly, out of order. Kabish. I understand, boss. So when you need something, give Vincenzo a call down at Atlantic Key. He'll take care of you. Won't you, Lucky? Of course, boss. Anything you say. Tell you what, we can go there now. got you a nice little place to stay, Tony. It's got you written all over it. We'll head there first. You're all hard. This is it, Tony. Home sweet home. Beautiful, ain't she? This shithole is supposed to be my home? Oh, I think it's very you. Now you're disrespecting old Vincenzo. Now, tough guy, get your ass upstairs and go put on some decent clothes. I don't got all day, so move. Take me to my place. Apartments cost money, Tony. Just you remember who pays the bills around here. Me, Daddy Vincenzo over here. So from now on, you work for me. So I'd better see you back here real soon. We got a dealer working on North Chinatown, Pats. 
The lazy bastard ain't brought any cash in in days. Maybe he needs some encouragement to get off his ass and do some work. Acting like a bitch. He kind of reminds me of you. What are you trying to say? I ain't trying to say nothing. I'm telling you to get over there and make sure this asshole starts bringing in some what goddamn money. So, Vincenzo tells me you're too chicken shit to work your patch. Hey man, I'm no chicken shit. I, uh, I've been ill as all. I go back to work tomorrow, uh, maybe the day after. Oh, I think you're gonna work today, like it or not. But I'm a psychotic. You're dead, me. Oh. Oh man, I don't feel too good. I think I might have a fever, something. Listen, man. I told you, little baby. Tiny tails don't go for the Leones now. This dog goes moving in. If I go back there, I'm a dead man. Sure, sure. I'm telling you, man, the Sadako's a dealer. You on my case. Oh, but it's just still here. You know, I'm still not seeing any money coming in from that dealer. You know why? Enlighten me. Because he's dead, idiot. Some chump whacked him. The Sindakos have started dealing. And on Leone Turk, too. You gonna accept that, Tony? I want you to get over to Chinatown. All right, boss. I'm on it. Oh, for God, why is there never any goddamn paper in here? Stay off Leone Tarf, asshole! Ah. You wanna say something? Ah. Big mistake. 
You want some more, asshead? Watch for pickpockets, son. Leone's dealing this city, nobody else. You hear me, you Sendako fucks? Remember J.D. O'Toole? Difficult to forget. Yeah, he's currently running a Sindaco controlled titty bar. <laughs> I mean, gentleman's club. The interesting thing is, he wants to be a Leone now. Fuck him, he made his choice. Hello, drain cell? Jeez, Tony, Sal said you was dumb muscle. But I didn't think anyone was that dumb. We can use J.D. to get the drop on Sindaco's plans. He's gonna be up on the inside. There's just one thing. He's being sat on by some Sindaco ape. I want you to remove this little obstacle and get JD on our side. Capiche? JD, you saw that? You're filming me? Uh, I was just this for my own use. I can't wait till we're on the same team. Don't get too excited. You still owe me money. Uh, well, uh, take that Sindaco jumps cars to the bottom, huh? Uh, just be spraying so no one recognizes them. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll take care of his body. It's you. 
Yeah, how about that? It's me. What do you know? I'll tell you what I know, tough guy. Some of our boys have screwed up a simple, no-brain fucking job. I'm opening <laughs> Lousy bastards can't even pull off the simple ring. Maron, why am I surrounded by so many fucking idiots? Oh, I don't know. Birds of a feather? Oh, you're a fucking comedian. Well, laugh this off, wise guy. You're the one who's gonna clean this shit up for me. Now get over there and drag those morons back here. Mama. Disgusting. Where's your respect? Respect? I call it multitasking, Antonio. What? Don't you like getting a hot bra to suck you off? What? Because if it's a problem, I can get Ray to help you out. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm just busting your balls. Relax. Listen, tough guy, I need you to do me a favor. I got girls crazy for blow. I got a car full of it parked in Trenton. Go pick it up. Give me a call. What am I, your driver? Screw you. No, listen, 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 listen. I do it myself, but I'm being watched by the feds. You know I'll look out for you. Trust me. Besides, remember, there's a hierarchy here, capiche? Now be a good kid.
having it your Please! Don't move, asshole! Set me up. Set you up? Set you up? When you came back to the city, you had nothing. Nothing! I set you up all right, you ungrateful bastard. With an apartment and a job. And for that generosity, I expect you to take a few risks now and then. I ain't a charity, pal, okay? And I ain't your sugar daddy. So the police were watching the car. Screw the police! When I tell you to do something, you do it. Capiche? Oh yeah, I understand, Vinny. I understand that as long as I work for you, I get treated like a bitch. Well, look, I was making scores while you were looking up girls' skirts. Have your bitch job back, boss. I quit. Tony, you're making a bitch. Come and see! What's wrong with you? I'm the mother for her holiness! 